Hi all, so first of all, I really like getting these questions that I've been getting recently on Instagram and YouTube because they usually make me think about things that I normally don't think about, things that I take for granted. Like this one, for instance, from Rick, who asked, which finger should I be plucking with? Doesn't matter. So I'm assuming, first of all, that this that Rick is talking about the right hand pits. Um, and the answer is, use your index finger. Pluck about an inch from where the finger bird starts and use your index finger. Now I say that, but I don't actually do that. Um, and I will tell you why in a second. So when you start to play violin, you generally use your first finger to pluck with. Um, I use my middle finger. Why is that? So way back when I was biking with Illy this one time and I'm kind of a klutz and I kind of plowed into a very thorny bush and got a really gnarly thorn stuck way up in my first finger, in the pad of my first finger, and rendering me pluckless, pizzicato-less. Uh, I think I was playing Zigan at the time, so that was kind of an issue. So anyways, I started using my middle finger, and I actually, I loved it. I loved the sound. I found that it was giving me a rounder sound, a richer sound than what my index finger used to do. And I guess if you look at the two fingers, I mean, right, there's just, there's just more meat on your middle finger than on your index finger. So it's just gonna give you more sound. I think the middle finger, my personal preference, gives it more sound. But you choose, okay? Uh, I will do the first one with my middle finger, second one with my index finger. Index finger. Long story short, both of these fingers have plenty of dexterity, so it's really a very personal preference. Whatever you feel works for you, go with it. It goes without saying that when I give this option to my kids, they always choose a middle finger. I think that's for a different reason other than sound. In some places, you'll see people say not to pluck overly long with just one finger. If you're practicing a really intense pizzicato section to you know trade fingers, I actually think you should just keep on going with the one finger. If you're going to practice long enough on one finger, it's going to develop a blister. It's going to hurt. It's, it'll be a big blister. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. The plus side to that is that once the blister fades and once you've really got in there and just, you know, given yourself a lot of pain, it does form into a callus. And then you've got even more dexterity and just like you're just much more tactile and you have different range of sounds with your pizzicatos. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, do let me know. And until next time, cheers.